Dragon Ball Z Kakarot updated out of nowhere. I knew there was an update coming because they released Vegito and Gotenks for the Nintendo Switch as like exclusive content with some new sub stories. And that's what fans have been asking for since launch. People want to play as Vegito and Gotenks in free roaming. I mean, they were already characters in the game's story, so why not let players just take them into free roaming and play around with them? That seems like a no brainer. So while I thought that was a great addition to the Nintendo Switch version, people on other consoles like myself were waiting for the patch to drop them. And today, out of nowhere, they finally did. But oh my god, I don't think this is what fans were asking for. I'm gonna take you through the whole thing, because I really don't think this is gonna take long at all. So, I boot up the game, and in addition to the sub-stories that unlock Gotenks and Vegito, they've also added difficulty options. I've complained about Kakarot's difficulty a lot in the past, so I immediately set that thing to heart. I struggle with the controls a little bit, I mean, it has been a while, but I can't really find the sub-quest. Oh wait, I was in the Trunks future timeline. I gotta get out of that add-on, because of course, of course it wouldn't be available in the future. This is a quest from the present. So get out and holy crap, look at all these talents that I haven't unlocked in this timeline. I mean, I had all of this stuff in the future Trunks timeline, but it, apparently in the present I've gotta unlock them all again. And that's not okay, because I gotta grind for orbs again, but okay, that's fine, that's fine. This should be fast enough, grind for the orbs, unlock all the talents. Goku and Vegeta have some new stuff that requires me to be level 300. Okay, not really sure why, pretty sure there's no content at level 300, but... Cool, we find the subquest and Vegeta cannot be in the party. Okay, sub to Goku and Goten is here. He wants to practice. He wants to get stronger because every time he fuses with Trunks, Trunks has to power down. He can't go all out. Trunks has a lot more energy than Goten. So Goten feels like he's holding him back every time they fuse. And like the good dad that Goku is, he says, yeah, sure Goten, let's train. Here, hold this spirit bomb. I am now noticing that this quest is pretty low level. None of these subquests are voice acted, none of them have those cool looking cutscenes that Kakarot does so so well. None of that is here, this feels like pure filler. But hey, the good news is that after eating that spirit bomb, Goten now has more energy than Trunks. And Vegeta is mad, he can't have that. Goten is feeling hungry, so he eats another spirit bomb, and Trunks has been training now with Vegeta. And they both reach the same energy level, so now fusing should be easy. Easier. They fuse, Gotenks is here, feeling more powerful than ever, and of course Gotenks gets cocky immediately. Challenges Goku and Vegeta, and of course eats a spirit bomb. But what the kids really wanted though was to spend more time with their dads. Go on a stroll through the city. And now you can play as Gotenks! Now, correct me if I'm wrong. They said that we could free roam as Gotenks, right? Because the way it works right now is you set Goten and Trunks as your support, you gotta have them both, and you unlock a support skill called Fuse. So if you use that in battle, then Goten and Trunks will fuse into Gotenks, and you can use Gotenks, but only in battle. When the battle ends, they split back up again, and you go back to your main character. I don't think this is what people were asking for. This isn't really free roaming. Anyway, maybe Vegito is different. There's another subquest for Vegito. The Elder Kai is very mad that Goku didn't give him a woman to kiss back on the Boo Saga. Great, we're revisiting that messed up storyline. They go to Bulma and start talking about how powerful Vegito was. And of course, Goku and Vegito wish they could fight Vegito, because all they want is to fight some powerful enemies. So Bulma puts them in the virtual machine, fighting against the big Dragon Ball Z villains to gather data on Vegito. So of course, we gotta feed them all some Big Bang attacks. Yes, this subquest is also very low level. That fight serves to gather data on Vegito and recreate him so we can make him eat a spirit bomb. Barely pulled that one off, right Goku? Whew, that was tough. I'm so glad I set the difficulty up to hard right at the start of this. Bulma then asks, hey Kibito Kai, maybe you could lend your Potara so Bulma could gather more data on Vegito. Sure thing, he doesn't even question it. Sure, have my Potara, whatever. We have those laying around everywhere, I guess. And that's how you're able to fuse in free roaming. Kind of. I mean, you can do it in battle, so it's not actually free roaming. It works kind of the same as Gotenks, but now instead of being a support skill, it's on the transformation tab. So, uh, same difference, really. But we're not done, because, uh-oh, they forgot about Elder Kai's request. They were meant to bring Bulma there. 
so she, she could be kissed by the old man. Well, luckily Bulma has been working on a robot clone of herself. What a coincidence! The problem though is that their fight with Vegito messed up a lot of stuff, so the robot is missing a part and cannot speak on its own, meaning someone has to talk to a microphone and the robot will repeat everything but in Bulma's voice. Well, Kibito and Goku are gonna be there so they can't do it, which leaves... Yup. Vegeta. Of course, this being Vegeta, he can't stand it, even if it's a robot, so he ruins this perfect plan. Luckily, Bulma has stolen her father's naughty magazine collection and she's given them to the Elder Kai as a gift, and he loved it. If only we knew that all he wanted was some magazine porn, this whole thing could have been avoided. Oh well, this is such a misguided update. It's something that fans have been asking for for ages. They are super late on this and somehow they still messed it up? Because I don't think this is what fans wanted. They wanted to free roam. Going into battle, transforming and fighting as Vegeta, I mean, I, I guess it's better than nothing. And I find it hard to get mad at it because it is a free update. It's, it's just a patch. Which means no one forced me to play this. I played it because I wanted to check it out. But honestly, I don't think that was worth my time. Though to be fair, I never thought adding Gotenks and Vegito as as free roaming characters ever added much value to Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Because well, what are you gonna do with them? There's no content out there to explore with these two. Not anymore at least, maybe if there's more DLC updates, maybe then we can do it. It does make Kakarot feel like more of a complete package if you're just now playing the game. And maybe you can do some side stuff using Gotenks and Vegito, I could see the value there. But for an update to come out so late after launch, and for them to not take into account that some people might have already played everything. So making these boss fights level 80 wasn't the best idea, especially since you added a difficulty option. I, I just don't think CyberConnect 2 ever knew how to do difficulty, especially in an RPG. If players are selecting the hard difficulties because they're looking for a challenge, so feel free to scale up the levels according to the player level. You know, at least make it a fair fight. Just throwing one special and finishing the fight, this isn't fun at all. And to my point regarding content, yes, now we have Gotenks and Vegito. Even if we were able to take them into free roaming, what was I going to to deal with them. Gather the Dragon Balls again, defeat villainous enemies again, I've done that a thousand times. I have no idea why they're asking me to be level 300 with Goku and Vegeta to unlock some skills, because once I unlock those, what am I gonna use them on? Kakarot is so hit and miss with updates, it's amazing. I thought Battle of the Gods was super slim and totally not worth it, the Golden Freezer DLC was slightly better and Trunks was fantastic. This one, even though it was free, I just don't think it's worth your time. It's a complete misinterpretation of what the fans were asking for, and at the end of the day, if this is meant to bring people back into the game, I think it fails miserably at doing that. It's two side quests that feel like filler, and in the end what they unlock isn't what people were asking for. But that was my adventure with Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, and I thought it was worth sharing. The feature you guys have been asking for is finally here, except it's kinda not. Will this be enough to bring you guys back to Kakarot, or are you just gonna say, ah, screw it, I'll go back to Demon Slayer, or whatever? Let me know where you stand in the comments down below. And as always, thank you very much for watching, my name is Globku, and I'll see you next time. Bye!